I want to tell you a story. Well, actually, it's more of a parable. But it's a fascinating story about a dream. A dream that most people probably have in their life at one point or another. I don't know who wrote this story, but it's a good story just the same. So sit and listen as I tell you the story of the courtroom scene. It all began one night when I had a dream. I dreamed that I had come to the end of my life, and somehow I had ended up sitting on a bench in the waiting room of what seemed to be a courthouse. As I looked around the room, the courtroom doors opened, and I was instructed to come in and to have a seat at the defense attorney's table. As I looked around the room, I saw the prosecuting attorney. He was a villainous looking person who snarled as he stared at me. He looked foreboding and was definitely the most mean looking person I had ever seen. <laughs> as I looked to my left, there sat my defense attorney. He was a kind and gentle looking man whose appearance seemed so familiar to me that I felt like I knew him. Suddenly, the corner door flew open and there appeared the judge in full flowing robes. We all rose to our feet as he moved across the room to his judgment seat. His presence and appearance were awesome. I couldn't take my eyes off him. As he took his seat behind the bench, he said, let us begin. The prosecutor rose and said, my name is Satan and I'm here to show you why this sinner belongs in hell. He proceeded to tell of lies that I told, things that I stole, and times in the past when I cheated others. Satan told of other horrible perversions that were once in my life, and the more he spoke, the further down in my seat I sank. I was so embarrassed that I couldn't look at anyone. I couldn't even look at my own attorney, as the devil told of sins that even I had completely forgotten about. As upset as I was at Satan for telling all these things about me, I was equally upset at my attorney, who sat there silently, not offering any form of defense for me at all. I know that I had been guilty of those things, but I had done some good things in my life too, but none of those were even mentioned. Couldn't at least some of those things be mentioned to help equal out part of the harm that I'd done? Satan finished with fury as he said, this sinner belongs in hell and is guilty that all of I have charged her with. And there's not a person here who can prove otherwise. And finally, he sat down. When it was his turn, my attorney asked if he might approach the bench. The judge allowed this over the strong objection of Satan and beckoned to my defense attorney to come forward. As he got up and started walking, I was able to see him in his full splendor and majesty. I then realized why he seemed so familiar. It was Jesus, my Lord and Savior, who was representing me. He stopped at the bench and softly said to the judge, Hi, Dad, and then turned to address the court. <laughs> Satan was correct in saying that this woman has sinned. I won't deny any of these allegations, and yes, the wage of sin is death, and this sinner deserves to be punished. Then Jesus took a deep breath, turned to the judge, his father, and with outstretched arms proclaimed, However, I died on the cross so that this woman might have eternal life. She has accepted me as her savior, so she is mine. I have traded places with her. I have paid for her sins. She is forgiven. Her name is written in the book of life, and no one can snatch her from out of my hand. Satan has been notified of this, and yet still brings these accusations against my friend. However, this woman is not to be given justice, but grace. Jesus sat down by my side. Then he looked up at his father, the judge, and said, there is nothing else that needs to be done. I have done it all for her. The judge lifted his mighty gavel and slammed it down the table. This woman is free of all charges. Her penalty has already been paid in full by Jesus Christ. Case dismissed. Jesus took my hand and led me out of the courtroom. As he did, I could hear Satan ranting and raving back in the courtroom saying, I won't give up. I will win the next one. As Jesus and I paused there in the hall, I asked him, have you ever lost a case? Lovingly, Jesus smiled and said, everyone who has come to me and asked me to represent them has received the same verdict as you, paid in full.